Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Sagittarius. And keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Sagittarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too. And it's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. Also, you can get 25% off personal readings from now until the 28th of this month. And you can find the code for that down below in the comments. But let's see, what's going on for Sagittarius? New money opportunities is what's coming in for you, Sagittarius. Get ready. All right, get ready. Because these new money opportunities are going to lead to even more money opportunities. And it's just going to overall lead to you making a bunch of money. Okay, so get ready. All right, Sagittarius, the emperor. You guys are stepping up as the emperor here, even though that is not your card in tarot. It's just what you're deciding to embody today. Okay, so some of you guys may be forming a new business and maybe maybe that new business is growing. Others of you, your business, if you already have business, is growing. Maybe you're starting a new product or something, something along these lines. We have the Queen of Swords. Some of you guys may have air in your birth chart. Air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe you were dealing with an air sign, but overall you guys have success. You guys have victory here. And um, you got the whole world in your hands now that you've achieved what you wanted to achieve. And now you're, you're making decisions which way you want to go about things. And there's somebody from your past that's trying to gonna pop up back in your life, Sagittarius, because they're trying to act like they miss you. But I feel like you feel like this is just something that's better off just left alone. You feel like it's not worth starting again with this person. Here, you're trying to move on with your life. You're like, I don't want you. I've already moved on. You know, it's like that type of feeling for you, Sagittarius. So let's go over here and let's see the advice for you. All right, since we got business coming up, we're going to see the business advice for Sagittarius here. All right. It is learn. You guys are learning here. Work with a mentor to implement the right strategies to get the business results you want. Be open-minded and enthusiastic to learn. So you guys will be working with a mentor here. Um, automate. You're going to be automating it to maybe where you get more passive income, Sagittarius. Develop ways to add passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. Yes, you see. Connect social media. Maybe you're going to be putting your brand on social media here. Use social media to efficiently connect with your audience. Be specific about what outcome you desire from your efforts and focus your actions there. All right, funnel. You're going to be funneling them in Aquarius. Or what did I call you? Your Sagittarius. You're going to be funneling in your clients. It says leads, prospects, sales, customers. Create a dynamic customer experience that nurtures prospects to become paying clients. Build a simple sales funnel. Yeah, you're funneling them and you're funneling them in from social media. You're going to be automating it as well to where it's more passive income here. Judgment. We have you guys connected with Archangel Gabriel here. And you guys have surprises coming in. These are surprise blessings from the universe here. Sagittarius, maybe something with the car, maybe buying a car, doing something with the car here. Um, it may also be people coming in wanting to work with you, wanting to collaborate with you. It could be business partnerships, it could be uh, clients coming in as well. But overall, this is what's going to make you extremely happy in your life here. And you guys got love coming into. Maybe there's surprise love that there's surprise love that comes in for you, Sagittarius, and you don't expect it at all. Some of you guys, it may be somebody that you work with here, or I don't know. It comes in from a place that you don't expect it at, Sagittarius. Some of you guys, this is new love. You guys got new love that comes in unexpectedly. Now, whether or not you're open to that, that's not a thing. But there's love that comes in. Some of you guys could have a Cancer Zodiac sign coming your way. I see Cancer, I see Gemini, I see Leo. And this could potentially be, but let's go over here and let's see more. So tell me more what we have going on for Sagittarius. It feels like you guys have been generous to those around you. We have the King of Wands. The King of Wands can be your own card, whether you're male or female, does not matter. But what you want for your life is just up ahead for you, Sagittarius. Once again, it's coming in, and it's coming in as surprise, surprise blessings. And overall, it's your heart's desires, and it's what's coming in, Sagittarius. And we have you guys connected with the Earth Mother Gaia here, and we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is... All right, some of you guys may be meeting more of your soul tribe, soul family, people here that are into the same things as you, they resonate with you, they have the same vibration as you, could even be other Sagittarius's like yourself here, but overall, you guys are going to be getting everything that you've been wishing for. Again, and maybe you've been wishing for changes in your life here, Sagittarius, and you've been wishing for success, victory here, people looking up to you, justice, 
You're going to be getting justice that you've been wanting in your life. You're going to be getting balance. And you're going to be celebrating all this, Sagittarius. Once again, there may be somebody here you're walking away from as well. But we have the universe coming in wanting to work with you, but wanting to bring you more of your heart desires, wanting to bring you more success, more victory, more justice, more balance, you know, more of these things. King of Swords. Once again, some of you guys may have air in your birth charts as well, but you're, overall, you're removing blockages that were in your path that, that were blocking you from receiving more. And we have a big contract coming up for you. This could be for career. It could be material assets. It could be the marriage contract in the future. Yeah, some of you guys will be getting married in the future, Sagittarius. Maybe two in an air sign. We get air. We get Scorpio here. Overall, you guys are about to receive a lot of gifts here, a lot of money, a lot of abundance. And it feels like you're going after what you really want in your life here. And once again, there's love coming right. There's somebody coming in that mirrors you. Somebody here that's a reflection of you. They're very similar to you. You have a lot in common with this person. This is like twin flames types of vibes. Sagittarius. Maybe you meet this person after a breakup or something. Either after you broke up with somebody or after they broke up with somebody here. King of Swords again. Something that, once again, I get heavy air. Air, water, Scorpio. Once again, you guys could end up being committed to this person, being married to this person. Yeah, there's love coming your way, Sagittarius. Once again, you could end up getting married to this person again. This is what you're manifesting here, or this is what's being manifested for you. I feel like you guys are also focusing here on your work, your career here. The star, some of you guys may have an Aquarius coming. Maybe this person is an Aquarius here. Let's go over here and let's see more about this for Sagittarius. We have Aos that you're connecting with. Aos is helping you guys rise up towards the light here. You guys are ascending, raising your vibration, attracting in higher vibrational love. The tower, and you guys are going through a transformation in your life, connect with the Palladian star system. And we have you guys connecting more with nature here too. And you're at a crossroads of which way you want to go, but I feel like you're going to be going the way you're supposed to be going, Sagittarius, towards abundance and prosperity here, and away from somebody here that is very narcissistic, is what I feel like for you. You're going to be using your intuition on which way is the way for you, and that's the way towards changes, changes towards prosperity and abundance. Once again, some of you guys be going to some place where there's water, there's boats here. Again. Some of you guys be studying something, something for your future, something here for your career, your business here. Um, something here you're getting in your emotions and your feelings about. There's also offers coming forward towards you, Sagittarius. And you guys are going to be cutting off cords with the past, people of the past here, releasing the past. The star, once again. There could be an Aquarius that's going to offer you something, offer of love. But once again, you guys are cutting off cords with the past. You guys are cutting off cords with people of the past that betrayed you before. And you're releasing that as you're moving forward towards the new. As you're moving forward maybe towards this new relationship. Because maybe you don't want the past interfering with the new here. Um, maybe even past trauma. But you guys are moving forward towards what's extremely valuable to you. What's like treasure to you. Maybe this person is like treasure to you here. And once again, you guys, your business. You guys got a business. Or there's somebody here that's got a business. You got a new business. That's going to be growing. Sagittarius. Or you got a business. That's growing here again. All right, you guys are staying on your true path here, and you're getting the bigger picture of something, Sagittarius. I feel like you're learning something. I feel like there's something here about your family you're getting the bigger picture of, you're learning about, and you actually see that you have success and victory in the situation, where maybe you thought you had defeat before, yeah, over some sort of battle with your family here, and you guys are actually about to receive a lot of money, is what it feels like for you. And maybe you're going to be doing some healing here. Maybe some emotional healing here. We have you guys connected with the goddess all set for healing. And there may also be somebody here you're ignoring. Because maybe you're using your intuition to ignore this person. This is somebody here that was once a friend to you. But I feel like you've turned distant towards them. Maybe because you realize that they're a fake friend. Yeah, you, maybe you realize that they're deceptive actually. Sagittarius. Maybe you realize that they're not the person they portray themselves to be. Yeah, I feel like you realize this. And once again, you guys are moving towards what you've been wishing for again. And you're releasing restrictions. You're releasing binds here. 
and you're moving towards a new chapter of your life here, Sagittarius and Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is yourself, whether you're male or female, it does not really matter, and you're being led and guided here towards um, connecting with the moon, but you're being led and guided here towards calling in what you want, Sagittarius, calling in what you've been envisioning for your future. All right, call it in. And once again, there's going to be somebody from your past trying to pop back up that regrets what they said or did to you here, but it's only because it backfired off onto them, Sagittarius. So don't really fall for people's lies. So anyways, that is what I have for you. And if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find even more content on my website too. All right, so goodbye, guys.